Hello, my name is Kim Mitchell, and I am the Chief of Rabies and Vector-Borne Diseases at the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. I'm going to talk to you today about West Nile virus. West Nile virus is a disease that is spread by mosquitoes and can affect the nervous system. West Nile was originally found in Africa and has since been found in the United States and North America since 1999. West Nile has a variety of different symptoms that can affect anyone. Most people who are infected with West Nile virus show no symptoms at all, and the infection will resolve itself within a matter of weeks. About 20% of infected individuals develop West Nile fever, which is a flu-like illness that is typically characterized by fever, headache, muscle aches, rash, and sometimes swollen lymph glands. And again, the infection will resolve itself after a few weeks. A very small proportion of infected individuals can develop severe disease in the form of encephalitis, which is a swelling of the brain, or aseptic meningitis, which is a swelling of the membrane surrounding the brain and spinal cord. Both of these are very serious diseases that can result in hospitalization. Adults over the age of 50 are at greatest risk of getting severe disease when they are infected with West Nile virus and symptoms of that can include paralysis, tremors, coma, and even death. So West Nile virus can be fatal, and it is important to take steps to prevent infection. So how can you prevent West Nile? First, it is important to dress the right way when you are outdoors. If possible, wear clothing with long sleeves and long pants when you're outside. Also, if, if it's not possible to wear long sleeves and long pants, use insect repellent containing DEET, which is a compound that has been found to be effective at repelling mosquitoes. It's important to choose an EPA-registered repellent, as those are, again, considered to be the most effective. Also, try to avoid going outside at dusk and dawn, which are the hours of the day that mosquitoes are often most active. And, very importantly as well, Remember to drain any objects that contain standing water around your property. This can be anything from bird baths to flower pots to kiddie pools to toys and other items like that. Be sure to walk around your property and check your home regularly for these items. Also repair any damaged window screens as those can also be an entry point for mosquitoes. Also, it's important to remember that West Nile virus is endemic in Maryland. That means the virus is present throughout the entire state, so no matter where you live, you could get West Nile. It's also important to remember that there are a lot of different species of mosquitoes, some of which do carry West Nile. The Asian tiger mosquito is a mosquito that is often seen in Maryland, but it is not the only one that can carry West Nile virus, so it's important to remember those prevention steps and protect yourself from any mosquito bite. One final take-home point to remember about preventing West Nile virus is the three L's, long, loose, and light. Wear long sleeve clothing, long sleeve shirts, and long pants, loose fitting clothes to keep mosquitoes from biting through your clothing, and light colored clothing as well. These things will help you avoid mosquito bites and stay safe this summer. Thank you.